In this tutorial, I am going to show you another way to achieve a beautiful blowout safely. My model, Courtney Danielle, who you all know as Curls and Couture in these social streets, has tons, and I mean tons, of natural hair that I am going to blow out and flat iron. The foundation is so important. You want to make sure that your hair is properly hydrated with a moisturizing shampoo and mask prior to straightening to allow your hair to stretch without breaking. I am using Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Sulfate Free Shampoo and Hair Smoothie to ensure Courtney strands are covered and protected. This duo has blends of moisturizing ingredients along with hydrolyzed proteins and plant extracts such as rosemary, soy protein, vitamin B5, aloe leaf, and sunflower olive shea, sweet almond, and barichi fruit oil. So yeah, this duo is packed with the good stuff. After shampooing twice, I am going to apply this mask in very small sections in Courtney's hair because she has a lot of it. Based on what I see, this child has the hair of three people, y'all. I need to make sure that her strands are fully coated and that her hair is fully detangled. Again, the foundation of your straight style should be moisture. So I am going to have Courtney sit under my Kiss Red Pro hooded steamer for 20 minutes to infuse this already intense mask with even more moisture. Listen, a steamer is a steamer is a steamer. They all do the same thing. They make steam. If you're interested in having one, and if you're interested in healthy curls, you should be. Just Google hooded hair steamer or visit your local beauty supply if you have good ones near you to find one. After steaming, Courtney's curls are defined with lots of beautiful shrinkage and they are super hydrated and soft. We are ready to prep this hair for blow drying. The next step in this process is layering protection. I am going to use my new favorite Aveda trifecta. First up, Aveda Brilliant Damage Control Leave-In Treatment. This anti-breakage formula is a great foundation to any hairstyle. It has thermal and UV ray damage protection for all hair types. Next, I am using Aveda Smooth Infusion Style Prep Smoother for another layer of heat protection that has humidity defense and creates a smooth surface. This is very concentrated, so a pea size amount per section is enough. And last, Aveda Smooth Infusion Nourishing Styling Cream, which helps to fight frizz during blow drying and moisturize the hair with botanicals and shea butter. You can use this one on wet hair to set it or on dry hair to smooth. It also works for curly styles as well, and it's suitable for all hair types. I am going to comb through to remove any tangles and then two strand twist to create sections. I'm going to repeat this process all over her head. When you organize your hair, it keeps you from missing pieces with product and it makes the task less overwhelming when you work in smaller sections. Now I am ready to blow dry. I am using my Ion Round Ceramic Bore Bristle Brush that I got from Sally Beauty Supply and I'm using my FHI Heat Platform Salon Pro Ceramic Hair Dryer. Both of these tools are designed to dry the hair fast while keeping the moisture in and boosting shine. The bore bristles in this brush grab the hair and stretch it smoothly while the straight pins help guide the hair around the brush. This type of tension allows the hair to be stretched safely. Now, in my other straightening vids, you see me place the model under the hooded dryer before blow drying, right? That method is still perfectly okay, and it's actually less laborious than this, which is why I choose it most often. But I wanted to show you another way to do it. If you have hair that is in distress at this time, meaning it's very damaged or it's breaking and shedding excessively, I don't recommend this technique. But if your hair is in reasonably good condition and you have the proper tools, then you should be fine. When choosing to straighten your hair, it's part technique, part products, and part tools. Now that's not to say that you have to use exactly what I am using, but just make sure that you're making a good decision and choosing quality products and quality tools. As you can see, this section of Courtney's hair is shiny, smooth, and about 80% straight from just blow drying. That's the power of quality tools. And here is all of her hair dried. It feels completely hydrated and very soft, so now we're ready to flat iron. I am using my new FHI Heat Platform 1 and 3 4 Tourmaline Ceramic Iron and a heat-resistant carbon tail comb to chase. 
I have the iron set at 375 degrees. Since Courtney's hair is mostly straight from the blow drying, I don't need more heat than that. But with a quality flat iron and good heat protecting products, you can usually go a little higher in heat if you need to. This iron has adjustable heat up to 450 degrees, beveled plates for easy gliding and curling, three layers of baked ceramic infused with tourmaline to give shiny smooth results, and moisture locking negative ions to seal in moisture, repel humidity, and reduce frizz. Now that we have hydrated, dried, and straightened, there's just one element missing to complete this fabulousness, a proper haircut. I'm going to start by establishing the perimeter, meaning the length of the hair, and then I will go in and add some round layers and clean up her front angle. Courtney doesn't have any severe breakage, so I don't have to remove a lot of length. I'm just gonna clean up these ends. On the layers, I'm going to take about two inches off all around to give her hair some lift and movement. As of now, her hair is all the same length from the crown to the nape of the neck, with the exception of the fringe around her face. Since she wears her hair in natural styles most often and prefers a round shape, long round layers is a great cut for her. I've gotten lots of requests about hair cutting videos and the reason you haven't seen a step-by-step -step one is because this isn't a DIY sort of thing. You need to see a stylist for a haircut. You won't be able to accurately do this on yourself and definitely not without proper training. You are just asking to make a mess of your hair. Do your research. Find a stylist whose work you can view online somewhere. Search hashtags on Instagram. Google for salons in your area. Don't just plop down in anyone's chair, but don't take chunks of your hair and just randomly start cutting either. Now that we've got a nice cut going on, I can finish up with some Aveda Brilliant Emollient Finishing Gloss for added shine and protection as I install some soft curls into Courtney's hair. The Brilliant line from Aveda is specifically made for textured hair, so it does a brilliant job of smoothing, enhancing shine and protecting. Get it? Brilliant? <laughs> okay, all right, all right, moving on. Like all of the other Aveda products that I have used, this one is concentrated, so a little goes a very long way. After just three and a half hours, yes, three and a half is not a lot of time for this much hair, Courtney's hair has been infused with moisture, stretched safely, straightened smoothly, cut precisely, and finished beautifully. Again, the key points to remember are hydration at the foundation, quality products for protection, and proper tools for styling. Courtney can maintain her hair at night with a traditional wrap around the head and a silk or satin scarf to secure it. When she's ready to wash out, she will use a sulfate-free clarifying shampoo to remove all of the heat protecting products and any other buildup from the week. You can find more information about Courtney as well as links to all of her social media and YouTube channel and links to everything used in this tutorial in the about section below or by visiting monoshair.com.